my name is Vicki. Today I'll be speaking to you about all of these vitamins that I take. I know it looks like a lot, but I feel that they contribute to my uh, good quality of life. At one point I didn't have a good quality of life. Um, before I speak to you about all of these great vitamins, I am just going to give you a little background about me. I, If ever, anyone is new, or anyone has been listening, thank you very much for listening and tuning in. Um, please subscribe if you want to hear more on how I've uh, tried to have a better quality of life and I feel that I have succeeded with God's help as well. So I speak about this and about a lot of different things that I um, feel that contribute to my well-being. Um, so for the last 14 years, I've been battling multiple sclerosis, which has been attacking almost every aspect of my body internally. So I have set out to try and help others. Now that I know some of this stuff has worked for me, I understand that everyone is different. So please do what works for you. If anything is working for you, please put it in the comments. I may need some help as well. So. To begin with, this vitamin here is Super B Complex, and this Super B Complex uh, was actually um, in, provided to me by my doctor. She just gave me the name of the B Complex. I told her, I spoke to her about my um, mental problems and how I was experiencing. I felt like depression. This was years ago. And uh, she recommended that I take vitamin B complex. And I said, oh, I'll take a look at it. Um, I went to Sprouts and I purchased it. This is the Nature Made. You can buy this at Walmart as well. Um, Target, I believe sells Nature Made as well uh, brand. But it, you can have any brand. You can use any brand. It's just Super B complex. And it says cellular energy production and antioxidant support. So any that anything that's antioxidant is pretty good from what I've learned and from what I've experienced from any antioxidant, even this wine here, which I'll talk about later on. The second vitamin is biotin. This one, I feel that it has helped me with my hair, skin, and nails. Um, it says it on the bottle. But I do feel, I see the difference. My nails were very brittle. At one point, um, you know, I take Rebif. So Rebif is really strong on your body and it feeds my body from water. Um, sometimes it causes me not to be able to sleep. But besides that, um, it's, I feel that it causes a lot of problems internally that I'm really not too aware of. But my nails were brittle. My hair was falling out a lot. My hair still falls out. It's long. It's really long. But um, I feel that this uh, biotin has helped. There's also very promising research on biotin. Um, if you have not seen it, please research that. There is promising research on biotin on helping um, patients that have MS. Now, the multivitamin that I take is a prenatal multivitamin. And that's because I want more of the vitamins since I feel my body is depleted from vitamins and um, it works for me. Um, this one is just, it's fetal brain and eye um, support. It says it helps with it. So I feel that it's contributed to my energy level, to me feeling happy and other things have contributed to that as well. But um, the prenatal vitamin, I feel supplies me with uh, more of the vitamins that my body needs throughout the day. So I take this in the morning. Um, the, there is vitamin D3. Now, um, I know most neurologists um, inform you to uh, get on vitamin D3. Some don't. So if, I mean, my neurologist always did from the very beginning, she put me on 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3. This helps with bones and it also helps with uh, your brain. So mental cognitive, cognitive problems would be alleviated. Um, I feel that along with other things that I do, vitamin D3 has helped me as well with my brain issues that I've had, like brain fog, and that I talk about in other videos that I will post in this uh, video. 
uh, at the end of the video. But um, for me, that was a big problem. And if I don't stay on top of my brain issues, which is like forgetfulness and um, just being very disoriented, uh, it, those issues will come back if I don't stay on top of them. Uh, which is like taking my vitamins, reading, doing um, other ac brain activities, brain games. Uh, sometimes I practice those brain games on my phone, but I've been told in the past to do it on a computer instead of on a phone. I don't know why, but it's supposed to help uh, more than a phone. So um, Lion's Mane is another memory, another brain pill. Uh, it's memory and nerve support. It, um, for me, when I was struggling with mental clarity, this after about a month of taking it, two pills a day, uh, in the morning with breakfast, I just take my pills. I try to get them all over with in the morning, first thing in the morning, um, so that I don't forget to take them. Now, this vitamin C, I'm not sure it, what's wrong with my body, but for me, vitamin C makes me feel sick, especially if I don't have a full stomach. It has to be like lunch for me to be able to take this and not feel sick, vitamin C. This is five milligrams, uh, 500, sorry, 500 milligrams. And um, I take two of these. Uh, sometimes I skip this one because if I don't remember to take it in the, uh, with a full stomach, then I feel sick. That's Everyone's different, so I'm not sure if it'll make you feel sick, but this is for the bones, uh, to help your bones since the medication is really strong, Rebis. It's a really strong medication and um, it, it will affect my bones is what I've been told. Um, so, and then the steroids that I take every now and then, I haven't taken them in years, but when I do have a relapse or when I have had a relapse in the past, um, or an exacerbation, some people know it as, uh, for multiple sclerosis, when it attacks you, they usually place you, the doctors, neurologists usually place you on a steroid, intravenous steroid or a pill, oral steroid, and that can affect your bones uh, very uh, in the future. Vitamin B12, I take this, it's supposed to help with energy. Uh, mental energy as well so 1,000 mcgs I take two of these so 2,000 mcgs a day in the morning I don't take these every day when when I go see my doctor every six months just for a follow-up they um, always test my vitamin levels and my vitamin b12 was pretty high so they told me to ease up on it so don't take it in the on the weekends which I stopped taking it on the weekends and then sometimes I forget to take it. So if I just feel like I'm a little more drained than usual in the morning, um, then I will take these vitamin B12, but I stopped taking them daily. I take them maybe three times a week. Um, but so just take them as needed. Um, and then the omega-3 is supposed to be very good for your brain as well. That's what fish has. Now, if you already eat all of the great uh, different rain, like color of the rainbow, like greens and yellows and the great stuff that the organic great food that has all these vitamins in them and fish, then you're good. You, I don't know. It's up to you if you want to take the vitamins or not. For me, I don't eat that great every day so i try to eat as as best as possible i try to incorporate the mediterranean diet the anti-inflammatory diet so but i love to eat uh, you know i love to eat i do cut out most dairy and most bread as i speak about in my other video that i will post here as well um but along with these vitamins you know exercise and stretching if i don't feel like exercising i don't exercise every day i'm not a, an exercise addict either so i exercise maybe i have gone down to two to three days a week now i'm gonna try to increase that just because i've gotten so busy um but i know that sometimes i need a little break and it's not every day that I come home and drink one, but every now and then when I feel overwhelmed with work or any of that, I'll have one glass of wine 
Um, I don't have it too late because they, um, I have to go to the restroom a lot in, at night if I have a glass of wine too late. So just relaxation also helps. And um, so I just want you to know that I don't take all of these vitamins every day. Sometimes I do forget. I am human. I forget to take my vitamins. I'm not so structured. But all the time I try to be. But the vitamin D3, this one, um, the lion's mane, and the prenatal vitamin. These I try to take every single day, at least in the weekday. So because I have these set up by my desk at work, I remember to take them during the week. On the weekend, I sometimes forget. On the weekend, I try to incorporate these. Um, I try to put them by my um, nightstand when I wake up in the morning, the nightstand is there. So I see them. Um, and all these other ones, I try to take them um, at least, I take them at least four times a week. Um, but I try to stay on it, you know, every day. This one, I ran actually ran out of biotin. So, and it's been going on for a week. But because I've taken it consistently, it's not affecting me. So there is some lead way there. So I hope you find what works for you. Thank you for tuning in and you have a wonderful night.